Okay, so this is our 1989 Rinker Fiesta V25. It's a 28 foot Sunbridge style boat. It's in pretty good shape. We've used it for the past four years, but last year we couldn't really get it in the water because we had some things going on. But uh, it ran pretty well, handles the water nice, and serves the purpose. Uh, this year we plan on restoring it and having it ready um, for the slip in the spring. Right now it's January, so I think we have enough time to get it done. The hole's in pretty good shape. It does need some work though. As you can see, the pulpit is kind of messed up. That's because I hit the dock. So that's not good. But, um, you know, we're going to have to replace the, the window and hatch seals all around. And it's going to need a good power washing and buff and polish. Followed by new bottom paint. It's on a 25 foot easy loader trailer, which is in good shape. It needs work, um, has surge brakes. And they do work, but they stick. So when the boat's off, the, uh, the brakes kind of stick. Landing gear is kind of flimsy. So, probably replace that. And the winch. We have a power winch down in the garage, so um, we'll replace that mechanical one, that manual one, with the power. So that'd be good. We'll probably really, most likely remove that pinstripe and install a new pinstripe. It's going to need new rollers all around. The tires are brand new on the trailer. Um, bearings, they don't heat up, but they're going to need to be replaced. In fact, this one I had to, <laughs> had to tape up to get back from our last trip. So we replaced the bearings all around. Other than that, the trailer is in pretty good shape. Okay, as we go down below into the cabin. You'll see it's a um, pretty standard size cabin for a boat of this size. You have the forward berth. Um, we have some storage for fenders, some seating with storage under. Uh, we have the cushions. We keep them inside though so they don't get moldy throughout the winter. The galley we have one range powered by butane. You know, sink, pretty basic. Um, and the head, you know, pretty small head. Faucet, you know, with the shower attachment. We have a rat's nest up here, so we'll have to redo the wiring. Not a huge deal, and then build a enclosure. VHF radio, and we have a handheld. Bluetooth stereo, we're going to install new speakers, and then we have a little, um, a little, uh, like, tool locker, I guess, and pots locker. This used to be a refrigerator, we took it out, um, and eventually going to build a, uh, tackle box area. Over here in the aft cabin, it's a queen-size mattress. We have some life preservers in the back there. So that works out pretty well on overnighters, which we do quite often. The cabin sole, um, it kind of pieced together with some vinyl stripping. And it worked for a couple of years, but it's kind of kind of tacky. So we're also going to do um, a new cabin sole. I don't know what yet, but something more modern and permanent. All right, heading back out to the cockpit. Let's see. It's in okay shape. We'll do the speakers over here. It's gonna need a good cleaning. It's gonna need a new control at the helm. Uh, some of the gauges work, some don't. So when we do the wiring, we'll have to go through that and uh, fix the ones that don't work. The child platter goes here, which we have inside the garage. Uh, it's got solar. Up on the bow's in good shape. Like I said, we'll have to replace the hatch seals. This bimini is new, it's only a year old. We're probably gonna have to refasten some of the stainless though, because it's starting to come loose. So that's gonna require 
probably some fiberglass work, epoxy, and some new hardware. So not a huge deal. Uh, let's see. We redid the upholstery last year. So it's still in good shape, so we'll keep that. Um, I'm going to replace the uh, this um, seat over here for two-person seat. So we'll have two there, and then this is this only fits like like maybe three people, and then over here, this fits two. So, you know, let's see, over here in the engine bay, we'll have to obviously put some new hinges on this engine bay hatch. All right. Right now covered in leaves because I left the hatch open in the beginning of the season. And it's filled with, well, leaves. Um, I had to remove the engine because I had to replace the gimbal, which I did last year. So that's done. And now I just have to drop the engine in. The engine's a 5.7 Thunderbolt Mercruiser 350 with 260 horsepower, sadly hanging from the tree. But that's all we could do at the time. So hopefully that goes back in soon before winter. Last year, I also installed a new blower, um, bilge, which you can't see, bilge pump. It's got fresh water. We installed a new fresh water tank, I mean, a <laughs> fresh water pump. Um, we have an automatic fire extinguisher system and uh, battery charger, which has to get rewired. So, we'll get this thing cleaned up. We'll have the bilge repainted. Um, and then we'll install the engine. And we'll be on our way to getting this boat in the water by late spring. I'm sure there's a lot of other projects that I didn't mention that we have to do. Such as painting uh, painting the deck with non-slip. Um, and much more projects. But I just wanted to give you guys um, you know, a quick overview of of the project that we have at hand. Hanging off the transom, you'll see the new gimbal that we installed. And we had to install it, well I wanted to install a new one anyways because I broke this on the last one that we had and um, I fixed it with JB Weld. But it was kinda, well, obviously only temporary. It worked for a couple years. Um, and then last year when I replaced the, um, uh, the bellows, I noticed that there was a lot of corrosion. So the new bellows would have nothing to attach to, so not good. So that's why we took the engine out and replaced the uh, gimbal with the new to us gimbal. I also replaced the gimbal bearing. So now that's all set and we have the um, we have the out drive in the garage. It's an Alpha One Gen One, so that will you know we can put that on no problem. Easy to do. And just one more project we have to do. To get this thing on the water and it slip come late spring. Okay, here we are. Well, we have about five months now to finish this project and get this thing in the water. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. Um, you know, different ways we can get this thing done, get things done better. Um, I've been doing boat work like this for years, you know, as an amateur. I just enjoy doing it, but there's always so much more to be learned, so I'm all ears. You know, uh, hopefully we get this boat done quick, get this thing in the slip, and you know, by late spring, up here in New England, and uh, it'll be a good thing. All right, I'm really looking forward to finishing this project with you guys. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be posting weekly videos on the progress, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks.